No communication, dead, flat, nothing. And now all of this communication comes pouring in. And it is upheaval and chaos for you, right? Because now what you have to reevaluate is change in the situation. Um, truth being spoken about feelings, right? Truth being spoken about the two of cups and the lovers and the, and, and, and the five of swords. Why things were the way that they were. I think this person. Hey Taurus, what's good? It's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. How are you? I'm excited about this. I wait for this every month just like you guys do. We're going to do a big fat Taurus reading and then I'm going to do a big fat Pisces reading. I am Taurus Sun, Pisces Moon, Pisces Rising, and Pisces Venus. Therefore, if the Taurus reading resonates with you, the Pisces reading will probably resonate with you as well. I don't know why. It just works like that. Taurus and Pisces, for me personally, as a reader, can interchange with one another. So if this reading resonates, check out the Pisces reading and vice versa. Pisces can check out the Taurus reading, right? This is a collective reading for the sign of Taurus. What does that mean? That means out of 80,000 subscribers on the channel, um, that's a small auditorium full of people. So picture me sitting in the middle of the auditorium, one of those mega churches, right? <laughs> picture me sitting in the middle of an auditorium and giving this exact reading the way it's about to unfold to 80,000 people. Um, so wrap your mind around that, right? That's how personal this reading is. Um, the collective of Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Let's hop into it and see what the heck is going on with Taurus, okay? I have already pre-swirled my cards and I'm just going to do the uh, couple of poker shuffles and then we'll do hand over hand. The way this is going to work is that I'm going to shuffle. I'll pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about them as I clarify them. Um, I will periodically throughout the reading probably go back and explain and go back and explain as we work our way through. Sometimes I go right back up to the top and read it through fluidly. It just depends on what the cards have to say and what's going on in the situation. Snickers, what do you got? Oh, fucker has a tendency to steal my candy bars from my bedroom. <laughs> Seriously, he does. So anywho, Snickers is still alive, by the way. Um, there was a few of you that I had to reschedule my readings with um, because I was going to put my dog down. Um, Snickers has um, Cushing syndrome and... Um, he, he goes from being really just good, right, to crashing. And then he'll come out of the crash and then he'll be good again. So I almost put him down and my daughter talked me out of it. And I'm glad that I didn't because I think he still has a little bit of life left in him. And I don't want to make that decision, right? All right, you guys. So welcome to my life. <laughs> um, if you're new to the channel, uh, my name's Dana. This is Deep Thoughts with Dana. Since June, I have been traveling around in a Mercedes Sprinter van, um, converted camper all over the country, um, doing really cool things and doing tarot card readings from cool locations. Um, I have hunkered down for the winter. I was going to spend my winter in Florida in the camper van doing the whole thing, right? And then I spent about 10 days in Florida, all over Florida. I went everywhere. And Florida is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's beautiful, but it's not my scene. And I can't see myself spending four or five months in Florida. I just can't. It's just not my scene. Don't like it. Miami? <laughs> Miami, I could drop into party hard for a weekend and get the hell out of. But the rest of Florida, it's just not so much for me, right? Not so much for me. So I have hunkered down. I am in a stationary location. I've rented an apartment in a, um, in a, the middle probably of the United States. And um, here we are. So this is it. This is my new studio. This is what y'all will see from now on. I put some pretty things up here eventually, right? But um, for now, this is it. Okay. Oh, and I also got a new little singing bowl. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? And I've already dung it, dinged it, dinged it, dug it, but I'm going to do it again. Ready? It's 
just beautiful. I just love that sound. All right, you guys, let's get into this. Let's let's start to throw down, okay? It's already four minutes in. I will leave a timestamp where the channeling and the shuffling stops and um, the reading actually starts, okay? All right, <clears throat> spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me and Taurus wants to know what you know. Spirit, what do you know about Taurus? And what does Taurus need to know about themselves? What's coming towards Taurus? What does Taurus need to look out for? What does Taurus need to look forward to? And most importantly, how does Taurus navigate for their best and highest good? Spirit, please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is these cards are going to say for Taurus. Please continue to arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring Taurus the messages that Taurus needs to know. I'm going to shuffle a couple more times. I'll cut three times. I'll begin to pull from the top. Please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen to bring Taurus the messages that Taurus needs to know and understand about their immediate future. I think that feels real good right there. All right. Let me turn this on, though, so you guys can have the cards right up over here, okay? Let me just turn this on real quick. Maybe. There we go. Camera. Video. Record. All right. You guys should... You guys should be able... Did you see that gray hair right there? There was like a gray hair just like flashing out. Damn it. All right. Let's cut three times and see what we get. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> the Nine of Swords trying to come out all by itself. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, Hermit. All right. Let me arrange this real quick for you guys hard. It's hard to get it right. Okay, so the Ten of Wands in reverse. I think this is about dumping a burden, an overwhelming burden. Justice in reverse, an injustice, dishonesty, unfairness, a lack of accountability. The Alchemist in reverse, talking to us about um, an inability to manifest, possibly. The Three of Wands, the future. The Queen of Wands in reverse, needs not being met, possibly an angry, nasty person. Okay. The High Priestess in reverse, uh, disconnected from the intuition, an energetic disconnection. The Tower, ooh, upheaval and chaos to the Eight of Wands in the center of your reading. Movement, action, and swift change possibly communication. The Eight of Swords in your head thinking about how you're going to change the Two of Cups, some kind of relationship or partnership in your life. Ten of Swords in reverse, an inevitable ending, um, resurrection, regeneration. The Four of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, um, this is uh, stubborn, lockdown, Prince of Pentacles in reverse, stuck, the Ace of Cups, love, feelings, the Fool in Reverse, foolish and naive. The Wheel of Fortune, a turning point. Seven of Swords in Reverse, breaking free. The Four of Cups, contemplating. The Ten of Pentacles in Reverse, this is loss, loss of foundation, loss of money. The Four of Wands in Reverse, loss of Foundation, um, stability, structure, harmony, Prince of Swords in reverse. Nothing happening, a lack of communication maybe. The Five of Pentacles in reverse, coming out of the cold. Six of Pentacles, giving, receiving, temperance in reverse. Something that needs to be healed in order to move forward. The King of Swords in reverse to the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see, the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Six of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, and the Queen of Swords. We're taking those two. All right, I think we'll take the Five of Wands to the Devil, the Three of Cups as well, 
and the chariot. Ah, and the king of cups. And the six of wands. We got to stop somewhere. Five of cups in reverse. Princess of pentacles. Queen of cups in reverse. Four of wands. The eight of cups. The eight of pentacles. Okay, now it's just starting to repeat. It started to repeat a little bit back there too. All right. Let's see what all of this is about. You know what? I think I want to clarify with the same deck of cards. I have two of the um, Tarot Illuminati's, right? One is marked on the back and the other one is newer. So, all right, hold up. All right, hold on y'all, I quit smoking. I quit smoking. If you're new to the channel, I was gonna do hypnotism um, back right before Corona started. Hey! Snickers? Snickers. Get out. What are you doing? That's a bad dog. You don't do that. Get in here and lay down. Come on. Get in here and lay down. Get in here. What an asshole. I'm sorry. I quit smoking. I was going to get hypnotized to... um. I was going to get hypnotized to quit smoking and COVID happened and it never came around, right? So um, I have uh, decided it's been, I am eight days, eight days without a cigarette and I have used this little vape thing and it has helped me tremendously. The flavor of the, um, the cartridge in here is called um, Creamy Smoke and it's delicious. <coughs> Truly is. There's a learning curve though. Can't smoke it like a cigarette. All right, let's get to this. Ten of Wands in reverse. Justice in reverse. Tell me what justice is. All right. Damn it. All right. Spirit, tell me what justice in reverse is about. The Ten of Wands in reverse and the Four of Wands in reverse. So, overwhelming burden. A lack of stability and structure. Injustice. To the Alchemist in reverse. An inability to manifest. Is this the injustice? Or is the injustice that there's so much potential? The Ten of Pentacles, look, there's so much potential. So the Alchemist in Reverse is about untapped talents. To the Ten of Pentacles. Um, could be could be about an inability to manifest some kind of security. We'll see that. We'll work through it. We'll work through it. Three of Wands, looking into the future. Ships coming in to the Three of Wands. Ah. Oh, this is crazy already. Already it's crazy, Taurus. All right, so the three of wands to the three of wands. So having some foresight, looking into the future, really trying to drive that home right here. Have some foresight, look into the future. Um, the queen of wands in reverse to the three of cups because reuniting with someone or something thing um, is not going to meet your needs to the queen of wands in reverse y'all this is crazy so we have the three of wands clarifying the three of wands we have the queen of wands in reverse clarifying the three of wands and the queen of wands in reverse crazy to the ten of cups all right boy spirits driving home a serious message here a serious message I see it already. I see it already. Okay. The high priestess in reverse. Ignoring your intuition or energetically disconnecting. Tell me about the high priestess in reverse and the tower. Um, ignoring your intuition will bring you a tower moment over and over and over again. Because the tower is meant to be an awakening, right? And without the awakening, all the tower is is just constant upheaval and chaos. The same tower over and over and over again. Um, it's meant to create an epiphany, an awakening, an understanding about how to change the way that you're doing something. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. Seven of Cups. High Priestess in reverse to the Seven of Cups in reverse, right? Ignoring your intuition and living in the la-la land. The la-la land, Taurus. Fantasy and illusion. The Tower. Tell me about the Tower. Ooh, death. Upheaval. Chaos. An ending. Change. Tell me about Tower to death, please. Give me one more, please. One more. So ignoring your intuition, living in La La Land, the tower to death. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about the tower to death, to the queen of pentacles. Wow. Tell me more, please. Tell me more. And the king of freaking cups, Taurus. Wow. Wow. Oh my God, and the Hierophant? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you seeing this? Are you kidding me? Wow. Eight of Wands, movement, action, change. Poppy. I swear, these dogs this morning. Poppy. Sorry. To the Eight of Wands, movement, action, Swift change, possibly communication. Tell me about this Eight of Wands right here. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. The Nine of Swords. To the Eight of Swords. Why the Nine of Swords? Why the Nine of Swords right here? Why the Nine of Swords? To the Moon. Hmm. So anxiety, despair, intuition, subconscious mind, king of swords, truth. Maybe that's why you're ignoring your intuition over there. I see. I see. To the, to the okay, truth to the prince of cups. Wow, Taurus. W-I-T-F. <laughs> And for those of y'all who don't know, that stands for, what the fuck? Eight of swords in your head trying to think about changing, changing, changing. To the eight of wands and the two of cups. Eight of swords to the two of cups. To the prince of swords. Holy schmoly. Three of Swords in reverse to the Three of Pentacles in reverse. This is going to go down here to that Ten of Swords right there. Ten of Swords in reverse. Recovery. Regeneration. Three of Swords in reverse. Forgiveness and healing. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Lack of teamwork and collaboration to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse to the High Priestess. Okay, I see. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Uh, hold on. It's way down there. Hold on. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Okay, locked down. Prince of Pentacles in reverse. Stuck for a long time. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles and the Prince of Pentacles in reverse, please. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles and the Prince of Pentacles in reverse, please. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Self-protection, right? Okay, I see. I see. I see. Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Fool in reverse to the Wheel of Fortune. Reckless to the Wheel of Fortune, no less. The Wheel of Fortune to the Wheel of Fortune. So reckless. Why reckless? Why is the Fool in reverse right here? Princess of Wands in reverse. Right on. All right. The Wheel of Fortune. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. The Wheel. Okay. Turning points. Seven of Swords in reverse. Uh, okay. Mental issues associated with betrayal and deception. Okay, makes sense to me. It'll make sense to you in a second when I read. Four of Cups, contemplating, right? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse to the Four of Wands in reverse to the Prince of Swords in reverse 
to the Five of Pentacles in reverse um, and the Six of Pentacles. Tell me about to the Temperance. Okay, tell me about tell me about the Six of Pentacles to Temperance, please. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles to Temperance, please. I had an explosion. Hold on. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay. Tell me about uh, the Six of Pentacles to Temperance, please. Six of Pentacles to Temperance, please. The devil. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Devil to the Princess of Cups and the Four of Cups in reverse. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. To the King of Swords in reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles. What's this about? So the Four of Cups in reverse is going to be about um, stubborn, apathetic, King of Swords in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant in reverse. Oh, somebody's breakup right here. To the Ace of Swords, a lack of clarity. Six of Swords in reverse, lots of water under the bridge. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more. Tell me more about this right here. To the Six of Swords upright. Okay, anything else needs to be said here? Three of Cups and the Sun in reverse. Okay, anything else? What are we at? Holy cow, we're at 21 minutes. Holy schmoly. Four of Swords in reverse. Justice in reverse to the Ace of Pentacles. All right, I see what's happening here. I see what's happening here. What is this? Temperance, the chariot, the nine of wands, the hangman in reverse, and the world in reverse. Okay, that's already been said. Okay, that's already been said. All right. All right, you guys. Let's break this down. <coughs> learning curve. All right, let's break this down. Okay. So as we open this reading, as we open this reading, 10 of wands in reverse. This is, um, an overwhelming burden that you have, Taurus, an overwhelming burden to justice in reverse, lack of accountability, dishonesty. Um, you feel like the burden that you are carrying is an injustice, right? Ten of Wands in reverse again, and you are going to dump this burden, okay? The first Ten of Wands is an overwhelming burden. The second Ten of Wands in reverse is a um, dumping of this burden, okay? Justice in reverse. It's an injustice. It's not your burden to carry. It's not your burden to bear. Four of Wands in reverse. Instability, lack of structure, a lack of harmony. Um... It's also sometimes about a transition. Can you give me one on the Four of Wands right here? King of Cups to the Nine of Cups. Okay, so what the injustice is to the Alchemist in Reverse, no less, okay? So this Alchemist in Reverse is dual purpose here. So what is happening here is that you are calling a foul right? Injustice, right? I am carrying this heaven, this heavy burden, right? And um, it's, I, I, I'm having an inability to manifest something in this situation. I truly am. I'm having an inability to manifest in this situation. What is this situation about? Well, the King of Cups to the Nine of Cups, there is someone or something that brings you great emotional fulfillment, okay? Perhaps you love someone, 
Um, and it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be anybody. It can be family, friends, whatever. And your wishes, your wish is, your wish fulfillment would be for this person to reciprocate. Okay? But they don't. And it's an injustice and it's a burden, whether this is family, friends, brothers, sisters, lovers, uh, spouses, whatever. Your wish is for them to reciprocate because you have a lot of feelings for this person or this situation and they're not reciprocating, right? And it's an injustice. The alchemist in reverse. What's the injustice? Well, Taurus says with the alchemist in reverse that there is great potential in this relationship clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, but I can't seem to manifest it. I cannot seem to manifest the potential of this relationship. Can't do it. Three of Wands comes in, clarified by the Three of Wands, talking about looking into the future, having some foresight, and looking down the road. Um, this card is about foresight, long-term goals, right? So what you're saying to me in these three cards right here is that um, you don't see this making. You don't see this as part of your future. Um, you're trying to have some foresight and, and understand that in the long-term vision of things, um, the Queen of Wands in reverse, your needs in this situation are just simply not being met. They're just not being met. Um, what are your needs? Well, to be able to manifest something with this person, but it's not happening. And quite frankly, the Queen of Wands in reverse, you're a little salty about it. You are. You're a little salty about it. You're like, bitch, what the hell? Right? What, what is the problem here? Interesting. You know, the Three of Wands also talks about waiting, right? Perhaps you've been waiting for this person to give the green, the green flag, the green light. Um, perhaps you've been waiting for a long time because it's doubled up right there, right? But it's not happening. So the Queen of Wands in reverse is a little salty, a little, uh, little, um, a little angry about it. Interesting. The Three of Cups comes on top of this. This talks about reuniting, um, getting together, talking about old times, talking about old times. Three Queen of Wands in reverse again, right? It's not happening. Your needs aren't being met. To the Ten of Cups. Okay, so what this whole top row here is saying is that you are being blocked either by this person or by the universe um, when it comes to trying to manifest some kind of relationship that has a lot of meaning to you, okay? You're trying to manifest this relationship. You see a shit ton of potential in this relationship, but you can't seem to get it going on. You can't seem to manifest it, right? And it would be your Ten of Cups. If you guys could just get together and talk, okay? If you could get together and talk, perhaps this could work itself out. But you're being blocked for some reason. The High Priestess in reverse. This is, this is ignoring your intuition, not being in touch with your subconscious mind. To the Seven of Cups in reverse. So ignoring your intuition, not being in touch with your subconscious mind, an energetic disconnection, Seven of Cups in reverse talks about um, fantasy, illusion. It also talks about coming out of confusion. Let's see, fantasy, illusion, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse, the Magician in reverse, and the Eight of Swords, the exact same situation, okay? So what Spirit is saying here with the High Priestess and the Seven of Cups in reverse is that um, you are disconnected from your intuition and you're living in um, fantasy, right? Fantasy and illusion with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Hold on. I think I think I can I, I think I think this is different. Hold on. 
So fantasy and illusion with the seven of cups in reverse, the high priestess in reverse. Um, I think this is different. I think what this is, is that the high priestess in reverse is actually talking to us about um, an energetic disconnection because you can't quite figure out why you can't manifest what it is that you're trying to manifest. Seven of Cups in reverse is going to talk to us about diversionary tactics, right? Can't understand why you can't get through or in touch or have a sit down with this person or situation that you... Um, so wishes fulfilled, right? It's the only thing that you really want is to is to connect with this person somehow, some way. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is Taurus being out of control, right? Hence the high priestess in reverse again. It's Taurus being out of control, not able to manifest, out of touch with their intuition. They're just like, I don't understand the blockage. I don't understand the blockage. I am trying and trying and trying to manifest this to no avail. And it's not happening for me. And I just don't know what I can do or how I can make this manifest. The magician in reverse, right? An inability to manifest to the eight of swords in your head, just racking your brain, trying to figure out why it is that you cannot create what it is you're trying to create, right? Hence the queen of pentacles in reverse, right? This is Taurus not being on top of the game, right? And Taurus likes to be on top. Taurus likes to be on top of the game, in control, right? And Taurus is out of control with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Oops. Okay. The Tower. Upheaval and chaos. Death and ending a change, a transformation into the Queen of Pentacles upright. The King of Cups, which was up here, which is the wishes fulfilled, to the Hierophant, commitment. The Eight of Wands, movement, action, change, communication. So this tells me communication is coming into you, okay? The communication is coming into you. What is this about? <laughs> well, the Hierophant trying to show itself right there, right? All right. So what is this about? Okay. So communication um, coming in with the Eight of Wands right there to the Eight of Wands right here talking about um, communication. Okay. I'm, I'm going to break it down. Hold on. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, where there was um, loss, and the Five of Swords. This is about betrayal, deception to the Lover's card. Okay. All right. So, Taurus can't manifest, can't manifest, can't manifest, can't manifest. Silence on the other side, right? Silence on the other side. Maybe you've reached out, and of course, this is a general reading. This can be reversed, right? Um Taurus trying to reach out, trying to make amends into some type of situation, trying to fix some type of situation, and it's not working for you. It's not working for you in your head, racking your brain, trying to figure out what the hell's going on. You can't even energetically connect to this person or this situation, right? You're just like, it's just like blockages. Tower comes in. This is upheaval and chaos. Upheaval and chaos. But let me tell you something. The tower doesn't happen without an awakening. That's the purpose for the tower. 
it's an awakening, okay? Without the awakening, the tower is just the tower. It's just upheaval and chaos in your life. It's meant to bring an awakening. And hopefully we'll see what that awakening is here for you, okay? So upheaval and chaos. What is the upheaval and chaos? Well, death and ending a change and a transformation. To the Queen of Pentacles upright that puts you on top, that puts you in control, that perhaps restores your title somehow, some way. The King of Cups, that's the message coming in. This is who's bringing the message, right? The King of Cups. Somebody's bringing you a message of feelings. Somebody's bringing you a message of transformation. Somebody's bringing you a message that puts you back in the upright. Um, and feelings are flying all over the place. Commitment with the Hierophant is what's on the table. Eight of Wands. Movement, action, swift change, communication. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, where there was loss to the Five of Swords, betrayal, deception, mind games, which is why you're all wrapped up in the Eight of Swords, which is why you can't manifest this, because this person is playing games with you, this other, this other half of the situation. They're not responding. They're not answering. They're not reciprocating anything at all. Mind games to the lovers. Um, this is a significant person in your life, a significant relationship in your life, some kind of significant opportunity in your life, some kind of choice, right? And um, lo and behold, the, the communication comes in and the whole situation just blows up. Eight of Wands, communication, movement, action, change to the Eight of Swords again, right? All up in your head, thinking, 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 thinking what you need to do here. What you need to do. Nine of Swords, anxiety stricken to the moon. Um, in your feelings, not sure that you can see things clearly because some truth has been spoken with the King of Swords. Some absolute truth is being spoken to the Prince of Cups about feelings, about feelings, about sharing feelings, about um, um, an exchange of feelings in a situation that you thought was never going to make. Two of Cups, right? Significant relationship. Eight of Wands changes very, very quickly. Prince of Swords, because somebody comes rushing in with communication about transformation that puts you back in the upright feelings, commitment, movement, action, change to where there was de just, just debauchery in the relationship in the first place. Now, now they're talking coming together. Okay. Ten of Swords in reverse, talking about regenerating the relationship. Three of Swords in reverse, healing, forgiveness, understanding, acceptance. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, let's see. Um, 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 not negotiable, lack of communication, lack of teamwork, seven of pentacles in reverse, uh, lack of success or reward to the high priestess. Okay, so now that this person's coming in wanting to regenerate this relationship with the ten of swords right here, Taurus is now, it got their mind a cranking, right? Got their mind a cranking. Well, you know, I wanted to make amends. You know what I think, kind of, sort of, maybe for some of you, is that some of you just wanted closure, okay? Some of you just wanted closure, and you reached out to, to, to just put it to bed, right? Just put it to bed. Perhaps you sent a message that was just, you know, a one-liner, sorry, Maybe even not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, maybe it was just something along the lines of um, keep in touch, right? It was good to uh, good to talk to you. I feel like this is something about, I feel like, I feel, I feel, <laughs> I feel like this is something about perhaps you reconnected with someone 
and it was all good, and then it just fell flat. It just fell flat. And for the life of you, you couldn't figure out why, right? Uh, one day it was, you know, chatting back and forth and, you know, catching up with one another. And, and then it was, um, just silence, just, just flat silence. And it just, it just blew your mind. Okay. For some of you, right? It's a general reading, right? The 10 of swords in reverse. So what you're thinking now is, is, well, it's a tower moment, right? So it's like, holy fuck. Holy fuck, what is going on, right? No communication, dead, flat, nothing. And now all of this communication comes pouring in. And it is upheaval and chaos for you, right? Because now what you have to reevaluate is change in the situation. Um, truth being spoken about feelings, right? Truth being spoken about the two of cups and the lovers and the, and, and, and the five of swords. Why things were the way that they were. I think this person's in a relationship. I have no cards to show me that, not yet anyway, but I think this person's in a relationship and you reaching out to them or you guys making connection the first go round, whenever that was, right? You guys connecting and then just falling flat, just dead, falling flat. And now they're back, right? I think that this person was in a relationship, even if it was a short term relationship, right? Um, um, cause they're showing up as the King of Cups twice. Okay. They're showing up as the King of Cups twice. And the King of Cups is very loyal in their emotions. Okay. Very loyal in their emotions. So if this person was in another relationship, chances are they weren't going to engage with you because that would be a third party kind of thing. Right. And perhaps this person has integrity and they're like, well, you know what? I've promised this person at least least in the interim, that my attention and my feelings and our, we are going to have a relationship and I'm not going to interact with Taurus because that would be um, a lack of integrity, right? I don't want to screw up this relationship that I'm in. I want to give this relationship a go and I have, I have promised to this person that we're going to give this a go right? So I think the silence that was there was this person really giving this a go. But what I think is happening is that Taurus is gnawing at the back of this person's mind, right? Gnawing and, and on it and on it and on it. And this person, because of that, it muddies the waters in this person's current relationship. This current relationship doesn't work out. And this person is coming to you and saying, all right, game on, let's go. And now Taurus is like, what? <laughs> what? Uh, no, I got to gotta shift gears here, right? Ten of swords in reverse. So what you're thinking about is, is well, will this come to an inevitable ending? Should we regenerate this? Uh, it does this have potential and hope? To the three of swords in reverse, uh, forgiveness. Can I understand and forgive the three of pentacles in reverse, the lack of teamwork, hence the whole reading up to this point, the seven of pentacles in reverse. Um, this is about a lack of success, a lack of reward to the high priestess, really searching the inside Taurus, really, really searching the inside to try to figure out what it is that you really want out of this situation. Hence the four of pentacles, right? The four of pentacles talks about you just locking down, locking down and really trying to assess the situation um, clearly. Prince of pentacles in reverse. You're stuck in the lockdown mentality to the four of pentacles in reverse in a state of self-protection. I mean, it's just so obvious, right? You tried and tried and tried, finally gave up on this whole situation, right? Finally gave up on it and boom, they're coming back around hard, strong, 
wanting to re-engage with you um, a lot, okay? And you are in lockdown mentality. <coughs> the Ace of Cups, they want new love. To the Ten of Swords in reverse, they want to regenerate let's not say they, okay? There is new love on the table and regeneration of this relationship on the table. Fool in reverse. Reckless. Princess of Wands in reverse. Frustrations. Delays to the wheel of fortune. Turning points in your life, in your destiny. The chariot rolling forward. So why reckless with the fool? Why reckless with the fool? Queen of Cups in reverse, emotional insecurity. The Queen of, I'm sorry, the King of Swords. Um, truth, protection. The Four of Wands in reverse. Uh, a transition to the Eight of Cups walking away and the Three of Wands. Okay, because you have walked away from this, because you have put it to bed and walked away from it. The, the fool in reverse is questioning if this is reckless for you or not. Is this reckless for you? Why? Well, because of the emotional insecurity that is associated with this whole situation. Um, this is something that is, uh, this is something that causes you some grief in a lot of different ways to the king of wands, right? Um, your truth, the truth, the decision that you made, four of wands in reverse, is to transition, eight of cups in reverse, to walk away hopeless that anything could ever come from this relationship, three of wands in reverse, lack of foresight, obstacles to the long-term goals, um, unprepared. You are unprepared for this massive outpouring of attention from this person. Okay. That's what the fool in reverse is about. That's what the princess of wands in reverse is about, right? Frustration, delays to the wheel of fortune. Boom. Now there's a turning point in everything to the chariot. Quick, fast turning point, fast turning point, moving forward. The Wheel of Fortune, a turning point again. The Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot, the Wheel of Fortune, a turning point in the situation, in your life, in this relationship. The Seven of Swords, can you guys see those? I think so. The Seven of Swords, right? This is breaking free from um, thoughts about betrayal, deception. You didn't know what the hell went on right here. To the Four of Cups, contemplation, reevaluation, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, about the ability to build a stable, st structured, harmonious future with this person. Prince of Swords in reverse, because there has been the, you've been blocked. There has been no action, no communication happening at all. Five of Pentacles in reverse. And now they want to come out of the cold to the Six of Pentacles and give and receive and share. Temperance in reverse. Um, something that needs to be addressed to heal a situation to the Devil and the Princess of Cups. Okay. Tell me about Temperance in reverse to the Devil, please. Tell me about temperance in reverse to the devil. Two of pentacles in reverse. To the four of cups in reverse. So the two of pentacles in reverse is disorganization. A lack of stability. Four of cups in reverse is about... Um, four of cups in reverse is about um, apathy. To the Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success. Okay, so what is being healed with the, what needs to be healed is an explanation of the devil, right? An explanation of why things happened the way that they happened. Princess of Cups, that is the explanation, okay? That is the explanation. So the devil representing, um, 
toxic love. I'm sorry to say, but it is. It's toxic love, okay? Um, I don't know any love that is pure <laughs> and perfect, except for maybe your love for your children, right? Your love for your dog, dog's love for you. But uh, it's toxic. The devil is the alternate lover's card, right? And you guys are connected by something that is toxic. Princess of Cups, right? Messages of creation from this devil. Messages of creation wanting to start again. Explanations. Four of Cups in reverse. Apathy. King of Swords in reverse. Um, manipulation. I'm going to clarify these real quick. Tell me about the King of Swords in reverse. What is this about? Is this about massive amounts of self-doubt? Is this about, oh, 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 this is the devil. Okay, this is the, the person with the Princess of Cups telling you why. It's the explanation with the Two of Pentacles in reverse to the Four of Cups in reverse, Six of Wands, wanting victory, progress, and success. Now, the message from the devil is that they were apathetic to engage with you to the King of Swords in reverse because they were filled with massive self-doubt. Massive self-doubt. Look, to the Ten of Swords because of the endings, um, um, the betrayals, whatever happened between y'all in the past filled this person with massive self-doubt to the Six of Cups that you could reunite, reconcile. What I'm feeling here too is massive self-doubt, perhaps this toxicity in the Devil card, because we do have the Page of Cups right here, is this person's emotional maturity. Um, perhaps there's an age difference between the two of you that has kept this person at bay or vice versa. Perhaps there is... Um, something about you that intimidates them or scares them in some way, okay? The Six of Cups, family, home, nostalgia, children. Maybe this person wants children and you don't. Maybe you want children and this person doesn't. There's some kind of really critical issue for this person, not for you, unless this is flipped. There's some kind of really critical issue for this person that fills them with self-doubt. And they're explaining to you why this could never happen up to this point. Wow. Queen of Pentacles. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Taurus. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah. Okay. So this Queen of Pentacles, this is going to be Taurus, right? In the upright, um, receiving this information in a position of power. Okay. In a position of power, because this person is coming to you and pouring all of this out to you. And Taurus is sitting in a position of power now, right? The Hierophant in reverse, talking about... Um, the, the, the reevaluation of a belief system. And I think that's what this person is telling you. The reevaluation of a belief system. This person has decided that nothing that mattered before, what kept them from being with you before, they've come to terms with. Not only had they come to terms with it, but they're excited about now exploring an opportunity that they have poo-pooed in the past because of whatever differences are between you. The Page of Wands in reverse, delays and frustrations um, was their belief system. And now they've reevaluated a belief system. Tell me about this. Tell me about this. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the blockage that was between the two of you, death and ending a change and a transformation 
of their way of thinking, which leads to the wheel of fortune and the chariot, which is a turning point in this whole situation. The ace of swords in reverse, their lack of clarity. The six of swords in reverse, all the water under the bridge from the past. The six of pentacles in reverse. This is what kept them from being with you in the first place. To the six of swords. <coughs> <laughs> okay to the six of swords right this is what um this is the transition away from that belief system leaving the conflict and moving into calmer waters what's calmer waters well the three of cups reuniting with you celebrating telling you about all of this the sun in reverse to justice in reverse. They're not, they're, they're, they're thinking that perhaps it's a little too late though. They are. They're thinking that perhaps it's a little too late. Perhaps, perhaps, uh, you know, the sun in reverse is, uh, um, not very optimistic. Justice in reverse is a lack of accountability. And they're wondering if it's not too late to the Ace of Pentacles to manifest some kind of new opportunity with you, Taurus. Wow some kind of new opportunity. Ten of Wands in reverse want to dump the heavy burden that they've been carrying about you and this whole situation. Wow, Taurus. Wow, wow, wow. Whoa. Yep, Nine of Swords, right? They're kind of filled with anxiety about the whole situation. Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions to the Knight of Wands, taking inspired action towards you. There you go, Taurus. Wow. I think we're going to throw down an extended reading. Um, I'm going to just keep recording right here, right now. And we're going to throw down an extended reading about, um, I don't know. I'm going to try to focus on what this person's issues with you are. Um, but, um, I don't know. Whatever comes out in the cards is what comes out in the cards, and that will be the extended reading, right? Very interesting, Taurus. So you have a frustrating situation that you can't seem to manifest. You give up on it completely and totally give up on it. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to ask about what your advice is too. So you have a frustrating, frustrating situation. You're going to completely and totally give up on it. And um, when you do, and I have been saying this for a long time, when you do give up on this situation, like truly for real, for real, give up on this situation, that is when this particular person is going to come back around. This does not have to be love, okay? It does not have to be love. If it's not love for you, um, the reason why this person wasn't reciprocating is because there was someone or something standing in the way, okay? All right, Taurus. Well, I'm just going to keep recording and... Um, I'm going to do an extended reading. So that was your read. It was good to see you. Um, and I'm going to be around a lot more now that I am stationary. And uh, we're going to uh, talk a lot more, okay? Oh, hey, instead of hanging around, right? Instead of, of hanging around in limbo um, and ruminating and wondering and wondering and wondering if this is your story, by God, get your cards read. If you get your cards read, this whole situation will become crystal clear and you won't have to spend six months or a year watching random YouTube readings, wondering if this is your story, waiting, right? Being disappointed if it doesn't happen. Um, just get your cards read. DeepThoughtsWithDana.com is how you can reach me. G get at your cards read by anybody that you trust, but get your cards read. Don't stay in a, in a state of insanity um, when you have the tools and the resources, a hundred bucks, 50 bucks, whatever um, somebody was going to charge you to get your cards read is well worth it. I know people drop a hundred bucks on a Friday night on alcohol like that, but yet they're going to um, sit around and ruminate about whether their love is going to come back or whether love is going to come into their life or not. Get your cards read. Just get your cards read. 
and alleviate the pain. Okay? All right, Taurus. Namaste.